Hello and welcome back. Today's session is a continuation of the last one. In the last video, we saw how to build borders on the screen right now. Some basic infrastructure like VPC and subnets along with the order scaling group with two instances within it and having internet access using the NAT gateway. Please watch that video before continuing with this one if you need more information on setting up the order scaling group itself. I'll leave a link of that in the description below. And today we are going to add on to it by creating a load balancer in the public subnet and attaching it to the order scaling group to distribute the load across the instances. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the AWS console now. So let's start by creating the load balancers. It can find that under EC2 section. So we are creating an application load balancer today because it accepts the HTTP and HTTPS traffic. That's what we are looking for. First, you have to specify the load balancer name and let's go with internet facing and select the VPC and the subnets that we created from the last session and ensure to put the load balancer in the public subnets. So we are selecting the public subnet one and public subnet two from the last session. And then uh, for security group, let's create a new one. We are not going to use the default one. This is because we are going to allow port 80 access from Aurora uh, So select the VPC. And then the inbound rules add a new rule which allows HTTP traffic that is port 80 from anywhere that is Aurora And outbound rules need not be edited. Let's just leave it as such and description is a mandatory one so let's fill it up I'm just going to say allow port 80 access and create the security group okay so once we created the security group if you come back and refresh uh, you will see the new security group in the drop down so let's select that okay and the next bit would be creating the target group uh, so you will see a listener port 80 already there by default but we need to create a new target group and attach to it so this target group will be in the same uh, vpc and the health checks can be left as default for now but according to your use case you can change them so health checks will periodically check if your instances are he healthy or if it's unhealthy then it will stop sending the uh, new messages to it so while first creating the target group, uh, target group, if you already have few uh, instances running, you can register them. So we have these two instances running from our last session, which, which are part of the order scaling group. So I'm just going to include them here. All right, so we have our load uh, target group in place. Now we are going to add that into our load balancer and create the load balancer. So what we just did was create a load balancer, a security group and a target group, and we combine them all together. All right. So the next step would be to go and attach this load balancer to the order scaling group. Right. So this was the order scaling group from our previous session. And here we are going to select the application load balancer under the load balancing uh, section. And in the health checks, in addition to the EC2 health checks, we are going to enable the ELB health checks as well. All right, and let's update this. And one last thing that we have to do is update the security group of the VMs, that is the uh, VMs within the order scaling group. The reason we have to do this is we have to allow uh, port 80 access from the load balancer to the uh, uh, instances so the load balancers can forward the traffic to the instances so we are selecting port 80 access from the load balancer security group which we just created we are just updating the inbound rule the outbound is fine and now we have all things in place let's see uh, what's happening with the instances that are being registered so this health status should change to healthy so we have it healthy now so once the health status is healthy uh, you can go ahead and try accessing the um, dns name which is associated with your load balancer 
copy the DNS name and head over to a new browser and try to access it. Here we go. So we have our load balancer up and running and it's balancing the load between the two instances in the order scaling group. As you can see, every time I refresh that, it switches between one instance and the other. And now let's try a uh, few things. So these are the instances which are attached. Now let's try stopping one of the instances. So ideally what should happen is your load balancer should stop sending the messages to that. And then your order scaling group will uh, eventually identify that one of the instances is not good. So it has to replace it with a new instance. So we have stopped the instance. Now if you go back to the load balancer and target groups. In the instance list, if you refresh it, you will find that one of the instances is unused now. This is because the target is in the stop state. And if, if you go into the order scaling groups, under instance management, you will see the list of instances. So at the moment it's in service. It still didn't detect that it's uh, stopped. Uh, we have to just give it a minute because we have set the status check as 300 seconds. Okay, now it has started terminating it. And if you refresh one more time, we should be seeing there is a new instance being provisioned, right? So that is in pending status and the old instance will be terminated and the new instance will become in service. Okay, we have to give it a few more minutes for that. In the meantime, let's go into the target groups and it's going into the draining status. So this is when your load balancer uh, deregisters that and it's registering the new one. But all this while, still your traffic will be served from the other running instance. So that's the good point about this. So you are, uh, even though you have just one instance running, your all your uh, traffic will be served by that one particular instance uh, when all these is going behind this, uh, happening behind the scenes. Right. So it's still an initial status. Uh, it has to become healthy. Okay, cool. So now it's healthy. Now, if you go back and try accessing uh, the same URL, you will see that it's jumping between the new instances now, right? As you can notice, it's the new set of instances now. So this is the whole process between the load balancer and or a scaling group. It's pretty helpful and it's hel it helps a lot in maintaining the high availability. If you have any questions regarding this, please leave them in the com comments below. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.